when we astral travel, do you think we just link up with other yous? You gotta read. You gotta read Soul Traveler and you gotta read Your Immortal Body of Light. Your Immortal Body of Light, <laughs> which I've recommended. I think I actually dropped that in the book recommendation PDF that I gave to you guys, which is also, I, th I thought it was actually in the free library, but I know it's in the lab. Anyway, Your Immortal Body of Light tells the tale of a doctor who meditates, loves to meditate, meditates for long periods of time, and he starts to have different encounters with a being and realizes, why well, I don't want to spoil it, but realizes through these various encounters that he is having experiences with different yous, these infinity selves that we've been talking about. And Albert Taylor, who wrote Soul Traveler, also has kind of a similar experience where he feels somebody kind of tugging on his foot or holding on to him as he's traveling and it was always kind of a nuisance and he comes to realize oh that's just him it's another version of him so it can get real weird wild and wacky out there in astral and in astral travel but I personally do think that we are rendezvousing, rendezvousing simultaneously with not just other entities but various versions of ourselves because when you think about it just as we need this body in order to navigate this dimension we need a 5d body to navigate 5d we need a 6d body to navigate 60 or we just we need necessary equipment in order to experience these different realms and these different dimensions and a you exists in each of these dimensions a you exists in all dimensions within this universe and also outside of this universe but we won't get carried away and so, yeah, it would make sense that as you're traveling and bopping around, you're occupying different light bodies in different dimensions, different yous, and having experiences accordingly. And you're still you from 3D popping out having these experiences, but you're occupying different vessels, and you have a sense of that. You can have a sense of that as you are traveling around. Let me see. Diane, related to infinity you, is there more than one you in 3D? Oh. <laughs> What do you think? <laughs> this gets into quantum physics and all sorts of high strangeness. Well, insofar as there is more than one 3D, there are mirrored aspects of 3D. There are potentials and possibilities associated with 3D, and we're presently occupying one potential and one possibility. What if I said there was another Crystal Ann Compton on this very night, in this very year, at this very age, but in a similar yet different 3D reality, very proximate and perhaps even laid over, grafted onto this one. She's me, but she's different, but we're occupying the same third dimensional space. See, 4, 5, 6D is not over there. It's also over here. It's just overlaid. Well, really overlaid is very linear. It's part of who it is that we are. It's just separated by frequency and vibration. Well, within the third dimensional reality, there are also delineations within 3D. And there are mirrored aspects. There are other dimensions. There are windows into other. And this is how we do quantum jumping. This is how we do shifting of the consciousness. And there are a lot of people who talk about this, who talk about wanting to will themselves out of what is a seeming negative timeline and into one where they are luckier, one where they are healthier, one way that, where they are, they just have a better experience overall and they do something called dimensional jumping. There's a whole subreddit dedicated to it, how you do it. There are many techniques to do this and it can be very subtle. Did you see OA on Netflix? Hearts, 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 kind of similar. OA was sort of trying to do that. Well, the doctor and OA was, I'm not going to spoil it for you. So if you haven't seen it, you should. It's pretty cool. But it's about dimensional jumping or jumping into timelines that are very close to this and very similar to this, but just different enough to be different. So yes, <laughs> yes, I, I say yes, but that's just me, can I prove that to you? No, but that's my that's my feeling on the subject. Naya asked, when you come in contact with other yous, have you ever heard of anyone swapping consciousnesses with their other yous? Is that even possible? Anything's possible. I think anything's possible. If you can imagine it, and it's, it's probably possible, but swapping consciousnesses is not something I have heard of. I've heard of walk-in phenomenon, where one consciousness 
vacates the physical vessel and another one steps in to occupy it, for example, Junvalo Melchizedek, claims to be a walk-in. This happened, I think, in 1972. But that's also that's always done on a sole contract level. Like at, at around 1972, I'm piecing out, but you can come in as a different consciousness and occupy it and, and do your own thing. I've heard of that, um, which is kind of similar, but what I think is more common is being able to share space with other yous, share space with other dimensional vehicles or consciousnesses. Again, we occupy all dimensions at all times. There's a 5D crystal hanging out in Christ consciousness and Buddhic energy right now. And yes, because I have this umbilicus, which we can say is the silver cord, because the silver cord is part of it. I have this umbilicus that is connected to 5D, 60, 70, 8D crystal and all other crystals by for that matter. I can actually use the channel of that to share space with my 5D self and experience 5D. I can do this in meditation. I can do this through active imagination and I can also do this while dreaming or while astral traveling. I don't know that I'm swapping consciousnesses. I think I'm just shifting into the consciousness of that vessel and sharing that space. And I do believe these other dimensional consciousnesses can do the same with me. Have you ever had an experience that felt like you were sharing space with a higher being and not like a weird oppressed or possessed type of an entity? We're not afraid of these things, people. Are we all done with that? We're all done with being afraid of things like that. But I'm just saying like when somebody steps in to begin to channel or to bring forth information or even when you are in a creative space and you feel like, oh, here, here it's going, it's getting turned on I'm, I'm feeling like I'm in the zone, here comes the good stuff. That is a higher inspiration that can be you sharing space with a higher dimensional you and that being or that you is coming into your experience to allow this to be expressed through you. But to conclude, all things, I think that all things are possible. And um, if again, if we can imagine it, that it can be possible, I think that, well, I think that it is. To learn more about me, the services I offer, and also my online spiritual community, please visit me at crystalandcompton.com. See you there.